The rise in cases of crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism in Nigeria have necessitated this meeting between the Commandants General of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and state commandants as well as heads of anti-vandal units of the Corps at its headquarters in Abuja. The NSCDC boss is concerned about the situation and how some of his men are handling the matter as he reads out a riot act for them. There is a massive, a massive oil tent and illegal oil bunker in our nation. Anybody caught sabotaging the effort of government by compromising while carrying out these were duties will be severely sanctioned. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited's monthly financial and operational report for May 2021 shows a total of 545 vandalized points were recorded between May 2020 and May 2021, while its full year report for 2020 shows that Nigeria lost 33.5 billion naira in pipeline repairs and management costs for pipe breaks. The report also revealed that in the same period under review, Nigeria recorded 441 pipeline vandalism across NNPC's pipeline network. According to the Commandant General of the NSCDC, its men have also made substantial arrests in the last one year. We have arrested more than 200 suspects. We have uh, also arrested over 300 trucks. We have destroyed over 50 illegal refineries. And so uh, the, the, the oil theft and the illegal oil bunkering is, is so alarming. Crude oil still remains the mainstay of Nigeria's economy, but the activities of saboteurs have continued to rob the country of the benefits of the sector. The position of the Commandant General of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps is that these bad elements who are headbent on sabotaging the effort of the government, and particularly that of the Corps, will be rooted out in no distant time. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.